This is MSJ Chem, and in this video, I'm going to look at the reaction quotient and the equilibrium constant. Let's start with the reaction quotient. Here we have a reaction where reactants A and B react together in a reversible reaction to form products C and D. Here we have the expression for the reaction quotient Q for the above reaction. In the numerator, we have the concentration of the products C and D raised to the powers of their coefficients. In the denominator, we have the concentrations of reactants A and B also raised to the power of their coefficients. The reaction quotient Q measures the relative amounts of reactants and products at a point in time. It is expressed with non-equilibrium concentrations. Now we look at the equilibrium constant Kc. Here is the equilibrium constant expression for the reaction in the previous slide. Just like the expression for the reaction quotient Q, in the numerator we have the concentrations of the products C and D raised to the power of their coefficients. And in the denominator we have the concentrations of the reactants A and B also raised to the power of their coefficients. At equilibrium, the concentrations of A, B, C and D are constant and the reaction quotient is known as the equilibrium constant Kc. Kc is calculated using equilibrium concentrations of reactants and products. Next, we'll write the equilibrium constant expression for this reaction in which hydrogen reacts with iodine to form hydrogen iodide. So here we have the equilibrium constant expression for the above reaction. In the numerator, we have the concentration of the products raised to the power of the coefficient, which in this case is 2. In the denominator, we have the concentrations of the reactants, which are hydrogen and iodine. And an important point is the equilibrium constant Kc has a fixed value for a reaction at a specific temperature. It is temperature dependent. And finally, we'll calculate the equilibrium constant Kc for this reaction at a specific temperature. In this table, we have data from three experiments for the above reaction. The reaction was carried out at 440 degrees C. In this table, I've substituted the equilibrium concentrations of the products in the numerator and the reactants in the denominator. As you can see, the value for the equilibrium constant is almost the same for each experiment. So for this reaction, carried out at 440 degrees C, the value of the equilibrium constant is around 49.4. Next, we'll have a look at the magnitude of Kc. The magnitude of Kc tells us if the equilibrium mixture will contain mostly products, mostly reactants, or appreciable amounts of both. If the value for Kc is very large, for example 10 to the power of 18, then the equilibrium mixture will contain mostly products, the reaction almost goes to completion. If the value for Kc lies between 0.01 and 100, the equilibrium mixture contains appreciable concentrations of reactants and products. And if the value of Kc is very small, for example, 10 to the power of negative 13, the equilibrium mixture will contain mostly reactants. The reaction hardly proceeds. 